So let's go. Fill up the T1 and T2 until it's full. We are students from UniKL my side and in this video we will be talking and demonstrating on how to use this shell and fuel heat exchanger plant and I'm Nabila Bipi Gafa. Hi my name is Nurkil Aisha. I'm Muhammad Iqbal Bediso. Hi my name is Yuri Christina. We have used this machine in our past experiment and what we should know regarding this machine is that it operates with heated water where 70 celsius as its max temperature and as for the shell side uh, we have cold or ambient water uh, the heat exchanger can be viewed as a heater for hot water to heat the cold water or as a cooler for cold water to cool the heat water and what you can see here is the machine that we talk about which is shell and fuel heat exchanger for preparation procedure first for the green tank is for hot water and the green tank for cool water. Make sure hot water tank and cool water tank fill with the water. For stuck pump for hot water, shut fully the discharge valve but open fully bypass valve. After that, start the HW pump pH for the water to recirculate around this tank T1. Next. Switch on the heater and allow the water in tank 1 to be heat to 70 Celsius. For start pump for cool water, first make sure BBC1, BBC2, the manual bypass valve of the CW pump are fully open. Next, open PC1 and PC2. Back machine is to exert a more uniform temperature inside the CW tank T2. Then get ready to collect the data for run 1. Uh, then to measure the pressure drop in the shell, switch the DP DP selector to the DP shell. Then to measure the pressure drop in the tube, switch the DP selector to the tube DP tube. The reading that, that observed is flow rate for cold water and the hot water and the temperature for cold water and hot water. Then for the capital T is for hot water and the small t for cold water. Cold water and hot water is must in USG PM. Then take the pressure reading. This is for a hot water and this is for cold water. Yeah. Pressure at the pressure gauge PGC and PGH must be in PSIG. At the assumption, uh, one bar is equal to 14.5 psi for cold water and hot water. If we have another run, keep heater on. With hot water pump still running, then shut fully the discharge valve but open the fully the bypass valve. Make sure uh, hot water tank is filled with water until it's overflow. Then switch the DP selector into the equalizing position. Next, we have to analyze the results that have been recorded, uh, which the results that we are recorded is the pressure, flow rate, and also the temperature. The results that have been observed, observed is then recorded into the this results data sheet. So uh, we have to calculate the QC and QH. Basically, QC is the heat transfer on cold tank, while QH is the heat transfer on hot tank. Data for QC and QH values for each of the sets for run 1 is computed by calculating the heat load QC and QH for cold water and hot water. After that, the values of QC and QH for each set is then compared. And then we also calculate the ratio of QC over QH. The value of ratio of QC over QH almost equal to 1 is selected to compute the LMTD and overall heat transfer coefficient. As been stated by Nabila, LMTD is log mean temperature difference. LMTD is computed to determine the temperature driving force for heat transfer in flow systems, while overall heat transfer coefficient is the heat transfer per unit area per Kelvin. Though it does not end with run 1, the procedure is then continued with run 2, 3 and 4 with the same steps but different values of hot water and cold water. This machine is this shell and tube heat exchanger plant is widely used in the industry. It could be in food, chemical, oil and gas and many more. Heat exchangers are generally used for heating or cooling elements depending on your requirements. 
Having said this, the use of heat exchangers in industry are dedicated to cooling to ensure that vital piece of equipment or volatile substance do not overheat. Another example, plate exchanger technology is vital to dairy, beverage and processing food application. They provide the extract combination of temperature and holding time for personal pasteurization and ultra high temperature treatment and regeneration in a variety of applications such as a meat and cheese. As for the oil and gas refinery, exchange of heat is very necessary to complete the process to produce desired product in a safe manner and generally knowing that shell and tube exchanger is the most utilizable exchanger which is used to transfer the heat from one medium of fluid by another fluid medium through convection. So basically, in conclusion, a shell and tube heat exchanger is one of the most common types of heat exchanger because of its versatility. They are highly customizable with many different types for different applications. This includes different flow types, head configuration, tube plates and materials. So